Alright, hello mga kachabi nuggies and kachabi nuggers. So today, I'm going to make a new video tutorial on how to create auto-generated certificates from Google Forms using AutoCRAT add-ons. Okay? So, ang first step natin chaan, which is na-play na po kanina doon sa unang uh, part ng video. Okay. So now, ang una natin step is to make um, the format of your certificate or the template. So now, I have my um, certificate te um, template using uh, MS Word. Okay. So pwede muna kasi tayong gumawa sa MS Word offline bago natin siya um, gawin sa Google Docs. Okay. Pero kung gamay niyo na rin po yung Google Docs, pwede rin naman po kayo diretso nang gumawa doon ng template. So, what I'm going to do now, okay, since may template na ako ng aking certificate, yan, this is just an example of a certificate. So, I'm going to go to my Google Drive here. Okay, I am going to click new, then file upload and look for my um, sample certificate template. There you go. So, wait lang po natin siya ma-upload. Okay. It's done. Hanapin natin. Um, refresh. There you have it. So, I'm going to click it. So, as you can see, um, format pa din niya is doc. So, we need to say, nakaano pa rin siya doon sa ating MS Word. So, we need to open it um, using Google Docs para maiba ang kanyang format para ma-convert into Google Docs. Okay? So, open natin siya. See? So, what we need to do, okay, para ma-convert natin ang format from Docs to Google Docs, we go to File, then save it as Google Docs. Okay, then go to close this. There you have it. So we have now our Google Docs template format. Okay, for our certificate. So siya. Now, next step is to do or make our Google form. So, go back to your Google Drive, then click New, then look for Google Forms, click it, and there you have it. So, we have now our Google Form. So, I'm going to type here the title, Sample Digital Certificate Survey. Okay, kasi ibibigay natin to right after ng ating trainings. Ito yung parang kuwami natin. So, pwede na rin siya maging diretsyo na magkaroon ng certificate. Okay? So, natin. Question. Okay. So, now, what we need to do first is to go to settings. So, for general, we need to tick this or check. Collect email addresses so that it will be automatically um, asking your or uh, the email of your responses or respondents. Okay. Then, limit to one response. He restrict to users and department no. So, so any um, email pwede nilang gamitin. Then here pwede na rin natin siyang edit after submit just in case nagkamali si respondent ng pagkaka-type ng kanyang name. Then save it. Okay? Now we're good. So here first question. So as you can see here nagkaroon na siya ng automatic na pag type in ang email. Okay, so going back, so we need to have here 
full name. Alright, then required. Next, school name and required. Okay, so it depends on you guys kung ano pa yung ilalagay nyo dito. Again, pwede nyo siyang idagdag doon sa kwame. Okay? Para at least, diretso na rin siya doon sa ating um, digital certificate. Okay? Alright. So, next step is go to responses. Then, click here, create spreadsheet. Okay, then create. Alright, so as you can see, we have here the details na nilagay natin dito sa form. Okay, so we have the email address, full name, and school name. Now, in order for us to make the, uh, to generate the certificate, so we need to add or click add-ons then autocrat okay so if it's your first time okay to add add-ons just click here get add-ons then look for autocrat or you can type it here kung wala siya sa unang um, set then just click on it so since ako na install ko na kasi siya before, so what you need to do, what you need to do is just to click install. Okay? Then just follow the instructions sa pag-install ng AutoCraft. Okay? Once done, again, going back to add-ons, select AutoCraft, then launch. Okay, so we just need to wait na may launch ni Google Sheet si Autocrat. Alright, new job. Yep. Okay, job name, um, digital certificate. Or pwede rin pong ilagay nyo dyan yung um, title ng seminar nyo. Digital Certificate for ICT Webinar. Ayan. Click Next. Alright. Choose Template. So, since na-save na natin yung template natin sa ating Google Drive, just click here from Drive. Then, look for Sample Certificate. Okay. Hanapin po natin again yung Google Docs na format. So, ito yun. Ito kasi yung latest niya. Okay. There you have it. Then, click Next. Okay. So, here, um, map source data to template. So, we just need to standard name. Saan ba natin siya here? Sa sa full name. Okay. Then, next. File name. Okay, tell Autocrat how to name each file. So, let's say certificate certificate then yung tags again yung full name certificate of participation then type let's have a pdf para um, hindi na mabago or ma-edit pa yung template natin. Okay, multiple output mode or single output mode. Ako, just select multiple output mode. Then, next. Alright. Then, here, let's hanapin lang natin kung saan destination natin siya isi-save yung lahat na gagawin. 
So, ako hit dito ko siya. Then, select. Then, next. Here, this is an optional. So, wala na kayong babaguhin or ilalagay. Set merge condition. Again, wala na din. Just click next. Share docs and send emails. Yes. PDF format. Allow collaborators to reshare. No. Well, it depends on you kung gusto nyo. Send from generic no reply address. Um, e, pwede rin no. Pwede rin yes. So, me am going to um, select no. Okay, here. To, again, dito, kapag hinover natin yung mouse, click on it, makikita natin dito. So, pwede na siyang i-double click para yung email address makopya mak natin, then paste. Okay? Para, kapag nilagay natin siya, imamap nyo yung email address nung respondents natin doon sa Google Sheets para doon din isend. Okay? Type subject, certificate, of participation okay and digital certificate of participation so here I think I'm not going to thank thank you or this is your digital copy of your okay. this is a digital copy of your certificate of participation congratulations thank you there okay so, pwede nyo rin po siyang i-customize or i-edit kung ano yung gusto nyo ilagay siya. Okay, this, this is just an example. Next. Click next. Add remove job triggers. Yes, run. Click yes. So, you just need to wait for it na matapos. So, nag update na siya. Run on time trigger. Yes. So, para automatically na po siya mag-degenerate once tapos ng makapag-response yung ating audience or respondent sa ating form. Okay. Ayan. Run every one hour. So, it's up to you. So, ako every one hour. Pwede na rin. Then, save. So, mag-i-initiate or mag- ano na po siya ngayon. Then, just click run, jump, play. Once done, click this to close. So, meaning to say, okay na po siya. Alright, so as you can see here sa Google Sheets natin doon sa um, responses, may nagkaroon ng bagong um, columns. Okay. Ano ba yung mga gamit niya? So, let's try na mag um, sagot doon sa ating survey. Okay. So, here go it is my Gmail account. School name Las Piñas City Science National High School. Then, click submit. Okay, let's see kung ano mangyayari dito sa Google Sheets. As you can see, ayan. So, nag-start na po siyang mag-merge ng document or gumawa ng digital certificate. So, hinahanap na po niya. So, let's just wait kung ano pa po yung mangyayari. There. So, meaning, eto po, makikita niyo dyan na tapos na niya ma-generate yung Certificate of Participation at na-send na rin sa ating respondents. Okay. Gusto, pwede rin siyang i-click para makita kung tama. 
Heto po siya. Alright, Certificate of Participation. I recommend that for your active participation in ICT webinar, make an auto-generated certificate held on 22nd of May 2020. So, ayan po. Um, easy as that. Alright, so para malaman natin kung na-send ba talaga sa email, so I'm going to check my email. Okay, so there you have it. I have um, email, okay, from the seminar. So, ito, ayun. So, na-receive ko na siya. So, parang real-time yung mangyayari pag-send ng certificate after nila mag- um, sagot doon sa ating survey. Diba? Ang dali-dali lang mga um, teachers and ICT coordinator dyan. Alright. So, ayan. Okay. So, I'm going to close this. Okay. Sa paggawa. So, tayo mga ICT coordinator, hindi na tayo mapapagod pa. Okay. Kung magkakaroon naman tayo ng webinar, pwede-pwede po natin tong gamitin, alright, para isahan, bagsakan na lang po tayo. Sana may natutunan po kayo sa aking video tutorial, okay? Thank you again for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe, like my videos, and type in your comments, okay, kung may nagustuhan kayo or hindi for improvement of my video. Once again, this is your teacher Chabi Nog. Thank you very much. Happy lagi. Bye-bye.